Have you ever wondered what kind of tinnitus sound therapy will give you the best treatment effect? That's a question that I asked myself many times over the years. And after experimenting, trying different sound therapies on different patients and understanding the research of what works for most patients, I've become very clear in recommending tinnitus maskers, devices that sit up and behind the ear, playing soothing sounds in the ears. I strongly recommend those as part of a habituation-based sound therapy plan. Let me explain about two of my colleagues at Treble Health, two of my coworkers, audiologists themselves, Dr. Ramsey and Dr. Suzanne. Spending time with these women has changed my professional approach to tinnitus care. Both of those individuals on our team have successfully habituated from a loud, obtrusive tinnitus into a more manageable and non-problematic tinnitus. The volumes decreased, the habituation effect, reducing the perception over time was very strong. If you're not familiar with habituation, let me explain. The sound of your breathing, if you listen for it, you can hear it. Otherwise, are you paying attention to it during the day? Are you even aware that it's there? Most often, no. That's an example of habituation. The sound of your breathing has always been the same, but your brain learns to tune it out over time. That same effect where your brain can tune out sounds, that effect is what will drive your success with tinnitus. That is the best treatment in 2022 and beyond. There's nothing in the pipeline research-wise, tinnitus cure research, there's nothing that makes us change our approach. The primary approach for reducing tinnitus is to promote habituation. And Dr. Suzanne and Dr. Ramsey both have very inspiring stories about how they reduce their tinnitus. They went from very loud levels and over many months using devices on the ears, let's put them on the screen right now. Those are called tinnitus maskers. These are devices that are worn up and behind the ear with a small wire going inside the ear canal. They are functionally hearing aid maskers. So what are hearing aid maskers? Hearing aid maskers are devices that are worn in the ears that are programmed for tinnitus. They're functionally not hearing aids for most people because most people who use them don't need that much help with hearing. Well, they are the same hardware as hearing aids. In fact, they're manufactured by the companies that make hearing aids. We're using them for tinnitus. We call them tinnitus maskers. They're also referred to as ear level sound therapy. And in today's video, I'm going to explain some commonly asked questions about tinnitus maskers so that you can learn about the best treatments available for tinnitus. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, audiologist and founder of treblehealth.com. If you are looking for help with tinnitus, I strongly recommend clicking the link below this video. We have a free tinnitus masker consultation that's available to you right now where you can sign up for a Zoom consultation and you can speak with one of our experts who spends all day, all week, helping patients like you reduce their tinnitus. We know what works for the right kinds of patients, and we know how to program these devices. If you're wondering if tinnitus maskers are right for your case, based on your hearing test, based on the struggles you're having, based on how long you've had tinnitus, weeks, months, or years, having a one-on-one -on -one consultation is recommended, and why not try it for free, courtesy of Treble Health. Again, you can find that link below, and we hope to see you there. Let's get ahead with the video talking about tinnitus maskers. Do they work for tinnitus? How much do they cost? Can they make tinnitus worse? And some success stories of patients who may have a similar history to you who went ahead with tinnitus maskers and dramatically improved their quality of life. Do maskers work for tinnitus? That's the right question to be asking. The short answer is for a vast majority of people, yes. At Treble Health, we've treated hundreds of individuals with tinnitus maskers in 2022. The overall success rate with tinnitus maskers from our use has been 85%. That means out of every 10 patients, eight and a half of them have a successful treatment outcome that we measure through questionnaires, pre and post treatment. These are quantified study. We use the tinnitus functional index, which is commonly regarded in our industry as the premier way to test the treatment effect 
of tinnitus. We're not so concerned of how this works in the short term. Although most patients do report immediate relief of using tinnitus maskers in their ears, we're more concerned with the long-term impact of can this reduce your perception and awareness of tinnitus? Can you habituate? Most of you can habituate. Almost all of us can habituate to some degree. Our job is to help guide you to the point where your habituation is so real and significant that your life has changed. And I am confident when I'm talking about this because over the years I've seen such dramatic forms of habituation that there's no reason to suggest it can't happen for you. So if you are a positive person, if you want to do what you can for tinnitus, let me know in the comments below positivity because I know a pathway forward and motivation here can be important in this journey. This is a short break from today's video to announce the Tinnitus Guide by Treble Health. Do you wanna learn about the newest tinnitus treatments and management tips? Click the link in the description of this video to get your free copy of the Tinnitus Guide by Treble Health. So let's take the rest of this video to explain some commonly asked questions about tinnitus maskers and see if you're the right candidate for them. Question number one, what brand of tinnitus maskers is best? That's a great question. At Tribal Health, we're able to fit devices from different companies. That means we're not just selling one product, but we can recommend the best device for you that will actually solve the problem for your tinnitus. Fortunately, in the telehealth model, the devices that we work with for our patients are about 40% cheaper than what you would find at a local in-person clinic. So that's another big benefit of using telehealth with Treble Health is that you're saving money but still getting a very high quality standard of care. And some of you live in places where there are not great tinnitus specialists to do the counseling, to do the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And that's an added perk of working with us is that I have handpicked the best tinnitus experts in the country and we have a team of audiologists that are here to serve you no matter where you live and provide you that high quality level of audiology care, ultimately leading to your improvement with tinnitus. Can tinnitus maskers make tinnitus worse? Very rarely, and that's something that we would screen by asking you questions before you even try tinnitus maskers. Questions I would ask is, does using sound therapy from a phone or a speaker cause your tinnitus to get significantly louder for a long period of time? If your answer is yes, then we have some individual follow-up questions where we would make sure that tinnitus maskers are going to work for you. If you have very reactive tinnitus, then we wouldn't recommend them necessarily. Contact us and we can individualize that for you. As we're wrapping up here, I wanna thank you. My name is Dr. Thompson with Treble Health. Follow the link below this video and you can sign up for a free tinnitus masker consultation to learn about your options and get the right kind of tinnitus treatment. Make this year the last year you have to worry about tinnitus. We're here to help you, so please take advantage of the free Zoom consultation and we'll start from there. Let's go ahead and read some success stories of other patients who have used tinnitus maskers. Let's put the image up here on the screen. We have Krista who says, I am so glad I found Treble Health. I've been suffering with a major tinnitus spike for the last two months, and now I have resources to help mitigate the intrusiveness of the noise in my head. Dr. Ramsey has been great to work with. She got me set up with hearing aids and a sound therapy plan. I now have hope that I will habituate to the tinnitus. Thank you. We also have Mark who mentions, Treble Health has helped me enormously in a fairly short amount of time when other doctors couldn't. My audiologist, Dr. May, has 18 years of experience in dealing with tinnitus and has suffered with and habituated to tinnitus herself. Mark's story is that I lived and dealt with tinnitus on my own for eight years until one week when it really spiked. I couldn't sleep, couldn't focus, and I became extremely anxious about my condition. I had very loud ringing 24 seven and I was wondering if I was going to be able to live with it. I saw my GP who referred me to an audiologist who basically said that this was the way it's going to be for you. And then they wanted to sell me a generic hearing aid. Mark did his own research into the latest and most effective tinnitus treatments into who could provide them. Two months later, my anxiety is nearly gone and I'm sleeping well. At the moment, I can go hours without noticing my tinnitus and I am hopeful that will even improve to most of the day. I care about you. I care about your health. That's why Treble Health exists as a company. We focus on tinnitus. We wanna get it right with your treatment. Please sign up for a free tinnitus masker consultation and our expert team will customize the recommendation for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment if you have any follow-ups for me. Otherwise, we'll see you on the free consultation. Take care.